Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is the 1075% difficulty uh, game. Now, uh, we got a uh, lucky break, uh, I think it was last episode. We got a rocket full of uh, refugees. Uh, and that mostly sorted out our population problem for the short term. And that gave us a bunch more adults who, and, and middle-aged people who are able to produce more children for the colony. And that is uh, important. Now, we're in a cold wave that's lasting five sols more. And that's going to be a uh, potential uh, issue. But we're also hemorrhaging power. So, uh, I need to turn on the subsurface heater here. And... Uh, I just have the one. Um, yeah, anyway, it, it can be repaired. We have the metals. Uh, and when it comes online, the dome will stop drawing twice as much power as it needs to. And this should normalize. Um, right. Uh, okay, uh, we just need the drones to arrive with the uh, stuff to repair it. Um, oh, they needed to charge first. Um, okay. Okay, it's online. Now, we drew a huge amount of power right when it came online, but now notice that uh, we're up to uh, 130 positive. And that's because all this stuff here, in range, is now no longer drawing twice as much power. So that's these uh, moisture vaporators, uh, drone hubs, uh, the uh, uh, lasers, uh, the fuel uh, thingy, everything in the dome. So, uh, yeah, so the uh, subsurface heaters are actually a very good investment if you place them strategically. Um, right, uh, so now that uh, thaws out some uh, water tanks as well. Uh, but we're, uh, we're net positive on water, uh, even though we're uh, producing zero from these here. Oh, I can upgrade that. Uh, from these here uh, extractors, right? So, uh, so we should be okay. So now we're, we're drawing 123 too much overnight, but we're 105 positive during the day. Uh, so we're going to have a net drawdown in power. So I think what I should do is, um, you know, what have we got here? Um, solar panel. Uh, put up a couple more of these. Uh, yeah, put a couple more of them up there. Um, see, the thing about solar panels is they only take uh, metals, right? So if I put six of them up, that should uh, that should increase our power production during the day enough that the batteries should uh, be fully charged the next day, right? Um, yeah, uh, so that's uh, basically where we're at. Uh, now, uh, what we're uh, doing here, uh, we're researching autonomous hubs, which will uh, definitely uh, improve our situation with uh, drone hubs, uh, because we'll need less electronics and less power, right? So we'll be able to chuck up drone hubs wherever we want, uh, as long as we can build them, right? Uh, now, uh, is this here? Yeah, we're not getting our resources down there. Um, This here is uh, probably frozen. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, the cold wave will uh, will finish, uh, and that will be uh, that will be good, of course. 
Uh, it's it's working through. Um, we need some more drones as well. And when this drone hub finally comes online, uh, I'll probably need to stick another drone hub over here to make that work. Uh, but when it finally comes online, uh, we'll be able to uh, to do quite a lot uh, more, right? Now let's just check in on the dome. Uh, our um, comfort is uh, not so bad, actually. Uh, so we scanned a, a sector here. No resources. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, yeah, let's work on finishing scanning everything. Uh, so, um, now let's, uh, while we're at it here, let's check in on uh, science. So we're doing autonomous hubs. That was an expensive one. And uh, that one, uh, but it's worth the investment to get it. Then I need to get up to, okay, sustained workload. Uh, uh, I want that also to improve if I need to increase production. Then we need to get the university. Uh, absolutely need to get the university. Um, right. Uh, and we need the university so I can uh, start making specialists. And uh, once I can start making specialists, then uh, we can get some geologists and so on, and then uh, a whole bunch of, and, and engineers in particular. And a whole bunch of stuff will start working a lot better as soon as we can do that. Um, we had another child born. Right. Uh, and since we're not, uh, we're not, um, you know, sending rockets back to Earth or whatever, we're not, uh, we're not likely to get, uh, a lot of, uh, people leaving because... Experimental rocket. Okay. A critical design flaw has been discovered in the prototype rocket. How could they miss that? Luckily, the engine flaw was removed. Design updated. Um, okay. See... I knew that was coming after we got our experimental rocket come in. Uh, and uh, and this one, uh, uh, I think this is the experimental one. Uh, so now that it's, uh, it's in, right, uh, we can uh, blithely use it to run missions, right? Uh, you know, because we, we want to just blithely do things, right? Of course. Uh, you know, why do things just just do things? You know, we got to do them blithely, right? Um, right. Why is it... There's a dumping site... Okay. What I'm going to do is go in here. It's in here? Yeah. Dumping site. Stick a dumping site right here. Now, let's see if that causes slightly smarter behavior. That would be really good, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Um, right. Uh, on the upside, uh, we are producing enough of the stuff we need to keep things rolling for the moment. Yeah, we are. Uh, okay. Um, right, let's check in on here. Now, we have... That needs medics. That needs scientists. That needs geologists. And botanists. And, and engineers. Um, that needs drones. New techs. Could run uh, the Project Limegrass one. Um... Yeah, we'll send MacGyver. Um, that uh, could re reveal something useful, so that's why I'm sending it. Because uh, we need, uh, we really want to reveal moisture vaporators, right? So, um, yeah, uh, that's that's really what we what I want to do. Um, I also am going to need to build another dome. Uh, oh, you're right. I should check in on here. Um, colonists. Um, no idiots. Okay. 
so I just wanted to make sure we didn't have any idiots because uh, idiots are not terribly helpful. Uh, they uh, don't have any work performance and they break things. So ye, we definitely don't want idiots. Okay, so what was revealed? Moisture farming. Yeah, see? Uh, microfusion, behavioral melding, and carbonate processor. Okay, so carbonate processor, that improves the atmosphere with uh, waste rock. But it's expensive to build. Okay. Now, moisture farming actually came at a relatively low research cost there. Um, we got uh, microfusion, uh, which is, uh, yeah, artificial sun, not terribly helpful. Um, behavioral melding. Eh. Um, okay. Okay, the excavator and, uh, okay. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to build the mohole, but that's really expensive, so we're not going to be able to do that anytime soon. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, there really isn't uh, much terribly useful here. Uh, dust repulsion might be nice, actually, to research. Um, right. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we just need to uh, work our way through the, uh, the current research. Meteor storm is coming. That's okay. Uh, I'm actually kind of good with a meteor storm on account of uh, that will uh, uh, potentially give us some anomalies. And we have our lasers, and uh, we do seem to be producing enough electronics that we can maintain our lasers. So, you know, that is good. We got another sol and a half for the uh, cold wave, so once that's done, the uh, birth rate should go up. Uh, now, because uh, the, uh, the penalty for everything from uh, the cold wave will go away, right? Uh, now, uh, we've got enough um, rare metals that... Uh, uh, we could send uh, our rocket back to Earth for an export pass uh, when it gets back here, uh, which is which I should do. You know, I can fuel up and uh, and head back, right? Um, okay, we got our. Uh, this is a transport. Uh, what if we automate it? Is it going to go fetch anything? It is. Wonder what it's going to go fetch. Well, it's uh, heading down there, so there must be some uh, polymers or something to collect. Uh, but we'll let it uh, do its thing. You know, we've still got 600 metals. Uh, we got. Uh, Yeah, actually, we're, do we're doing uh, reasonably okay here. Uh, right. Now, uh, is this even coming close to... Yeah, it's not even bringing electronics down. And I wonder if that's because we just don't have enough of them. And that is... Uh, eh. It's the, uh, the concrete's full. Oh, because we don't have enough drones, that's why. Uh, Cold Wave is just about done, so that'll be really good. Uh, you are... If we allow export, now you'll load up. Right. Yeah, they'll send the rocket back to Earth. Uh, we'll get some uh, exports, and then uh, uh, we'll be able to uh, 
you know, purchase some stuff, and uh, yeah, that'll get uh, a little bit more stuff uh, operational. Uh, we just about have autonomous hubs, so that'll be good. Uh, we're up to 11 electronics. Uh, do I have this on uh, heavy workload? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, then uh, that'll be good, not having it under heavy workload. Um, and this here is... Oh, it's got one on site now. Uh, wild. Uh, so eventually that'll get built. Uh, you know, that's... Uh, you know, it will eventually get built. Uh, we have 27 of these. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're okay for the moment. We have five children. Well, if we can keep keep ticking along at five children, we should be okay. How's this doing? 63. Yeah, that's not so bad. Uh, cold wave is over. So, you know, that will help some things. I can turn that off. Uh, good. Yeah, that's definitely good. Uh, where's the transport going? Oh, I must. There must be some resources down here. Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's going up there. Yeah, so there is some resources down there. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so we got uh, meteors that came in. Uh, we got one Sol before the actual meteor storm. Right, okay. That's just about done. Okay. Autonomous hubs will be a major game changer. Because then we can just chuck up uh, dr uh, drone hubs uh, wherever we want without having to worry about the cost of running them. Uh, that's got one in it still. Have you got all of... Yeah, you do. You can launch to Earth. There we go. Now, uh, where are we on all of this business? We have completed autonomous hubs. Good. Now, uh, what are we researching now? Sustained workload. That's a breakthrough. Um, and that'll be a couple of sols. Uh, but it will uh, it will go through fairly quickly comparatively. Okay, so this I kind of need more. Yeah, I definitely need more drones. That's uh, a large part of the problem. This. Um, turn off exports on that one. Right. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, where are we here? Uh, okay. Where, where's one? Okay, here's one of those. So yeah, so now it doesn't show any... Uh, any uh, um, issues there with uh, maintenance so uh, we should be uh, we should be catching up on uh, electronics now is, th is this oh what if I set this to store electronics that might uh, that might help the relay process. Um, yeah, that might definitely help the relay process. Meteor storm is underway. Where is the uh, meteor storming? It's not. Oh, it's over here. Okay, it can be over there. 
yeah, okay. Uh, maybe we'll be lucky and it will pop up with some uh, uh, anomalies. You know, that would be good. Uh, where is it? Yeah, okay. Let me get some down here. Okay. Well, we're uh, we're doing okay here. We've got a surplus of water. So I'm going to turn the other uh, fuel refinery online. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And, uh, you know, that'll build up our fuel tally a lot more. Uh, a lot more quickly. Uh, what are you? You're a RC commander with one drone. Uh, what if I bring that down here? Does that help anything? Uh, if I go over here, we have nine. Okay, if I... Uh, oh, we uh, zapped a meteor. If we take a couple of those off of there and we uh, put them on here, do we get something useful happening? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Buildings destroyed. What? Huh? Renegades. Uh, rebuild. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, we got six children. Hey, that could be good. Uh, but, um, yeah, okay, yeah. The comfort of the dome is hovering around something useful, so... Uh, okay, the drone hub down here is online. Good. Okay, that should get things ticking along a lot better. Um, and I think I'll go over here. And uh, what have we got here? I think I'll chuck another one over here. Uh, yeah, like that. So if I chuck one over there, then we should have plenty of drones. And that's, uh, that's going to be the major thing, right? Uh, having enough drones spread out in enough places. And now that we just need to build them, we don't have to maintain them. Uh, we can uh, chuck up as many as we want and we're good, right? Uh, and we haven't had any anomalies from meteors yet in this meteor storm. So, uh, you know, it would be kind, kind of nice. Uh, yeah, of course we have low resources. I'm using them all. Um, it would be kind of cool if we got an anomaly from them, but I'm not holding my breath on that. Um, we could get... Uh, polymers and uh, metals, right, uh, from them as well. And that's uh, quite useful. Um, right. Uh, okay, well, we're, uh, we've used up our uh, electronics. We just need one more for the drone hub, and then... Uh, Uh, yeah, so it just needs to produce, produce it, right? Um, so if we go in here, yeah, we're running three shifts there, so, uh, we just need to actually produce it, right? Uh, okay. Uh, we're going and collecting something. Okay, sustained workload. Okay. Good. Um, okay. Well, now let's... Uh, let's see here. If we... Uh, Meteor Storm's just about done. Now, if we uh, go into science here, because we have a couple of slots that we can... 
uh, fill in there. Um, what do we uh, what do we really need the most? Moisture vaporators, I think. Um, okay, we're working on Martian education. Um, okay, there's a... Uh, okay, Martian-born strength would be good. Well, let's, uh, let's just uh, take a look here. Uh, that one's useless. Uh... Oh, well, let's uh, take that one out. Let's chuck that one in there. Okay. Uh, um... Right. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch down there that would be uh, terribly useful. Uh, but let's uh, go for the uh, cheaper ones first. Um, okay, let's see if we have any cheap uh, uh, breakthroughs here. Uh, that one's a useful one. You know, I'll grab that one. Alien imprints. Um, right. Okay, let's get back to the uh, the uh, time moving along here. Oh, we're just about to Earth. Okay. Uh, okay, we got our uh, drone hub. We got an anomaly over here, which is a... It just reveals uh, text. Uh, and that's fine. Um... Okay, um, eight, yeah, okay, whoops, uh, so now we can, uh, uh, where is it, uh, we can check in over here, uh, we can, uh, grab a cargo rocket, now, what do we actually need, that is the question, right? Um, an argument could be made for bringing electronics, but we're able to produce enough, uh, and same for these. So what I want to do is I want to go and look in prefabs and, uh, a drone hub, uh, 330 million, we could bring, uh, you know, one, one or two of those. Uh, is there anything here that, uh, you know what? Not really. Uh, okay, so so what we can do is, uh, I guess we could bring some resources. Um, well, uh, close. Uh, what's it cost to build a another medium dome? 20 polymers, 50 metals, 120 concrete. We can afford that. Uh, we can actually afford to do that. I think. Uh, we're not... Yeah, we're not producing enough polymers, really. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we have some seniors dying off, uh, by the look of it. Uh, right. Now, where would I put this dome? Uh, I could put it, uh, I could put it over here, uh, which puts it in range of the science there, and a water point. Um, yeah, I could put it over here. Uh, that might not be a bad bad place to put it. Electrostatic dust storm. Uh, that's that's annoying. Uh, right. 
Well, I could, I could definitely put a, uh, put the, put a second dome over here. Um, but would it make more sense to put it over here? Well, let's get the, uh, oh, we got new texts that have been revealed. Adapted vegetation, dream, interplanetary, okay, open research screen. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, rejuvenation treatment. Uh, infirmary and medical center improves service comfort, provides, allows colonists. Um, okay, yeah, that one could be good. Uh, dream reality. Uh, okay. Well, we've got almost all of the uh, wonders uh, uh, revealed, at least. And that's not terribly useful, though. Um, okay, close that. Um, right, okay. Uh, so what do we... Do I just leave the rocket on Earth? Uh, or bring it back? Maybe I bring it back empty. No, I should probably bring some electronics. That's what I should do. It won't get here before the dust storm, though. Um, these, if I shut them down... No, I really shouldn't, should I? No, I'm going to grab the uh, silhouette of the dome. I would be able to f to slot it in here. Then I could move my uh, production stuff uh, over to this dome. And, uh, hmm. Could work. It, it, it could work. Uh, keep the residences over here where the uh, comfort bonus is. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, no. Uh, is go over here and uh, get rid of the dump site. You can move over here, right? Uh, you are an explorer, right? So I'll just send you back over here, right? Um, yeah, we're uh, working our way through all of the... Uh, uh, bits where we're not going to find anything useful on the scanning now. Uh, right. Uh, so if I were to stick the dome over here, huh, it's not going to have a lot of uh, work opportunities, really. But I could move the food production uh, buildings and so on over here. Take the penalty for working in a in a separate dome. Uh, well, we're okay for the moment, but... Huh, we're, I'm definitely going to need another dome. And you'd think I should just put up a basic dome, but... Uh, no, I want... If I put up the, a, a bigger dome, then... Uh, well... I could put up a basic dome... And use that for... No. Hmm. I could put the education in it. Yeah. That's what I could do. I could do that. For sure. Huh. Now I'm not entirely certain what I should do. Uh, but if I did put one here, I could put a passageway. And uh, that actually could work. We got Martian education. So, uh, okay, we're uh, catching up on electronics now. Uh, so I got Martian education. Let's go back in here. Now what do we want to uh, add in here afterward? Um, schools, 
that could be a good one. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, what have we got here? Uh, what's this? That one could be a really good one to go for. Um, right. That... Oh, that's probably worth it. Oh, but that, that is also, um, okay, what do we have over here? What do we have up here? Uh, fungal farm is, uh, an outdome building that produces food. Uh, right. Uh, moxie upgrade. Let's put the moxie upgrade in the queue. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to tentatively... What's blocking? Ah. I'm going to tentatively put a, uh, put the dome, new dome there. Um... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to tentatively put the new dome there. Because uh, I can uh, grab a passage from here to here, uh, or something like that, and uh, uh, get everything uh, operational. But I'm not going to build the dome, at least until after the dust storm. But, uh, putting this here will, uh, will allow uh, getting... Uh, uh, getting more people in more easily later. Um, yeah, we're we're hovering around six children, so so that's good. Especially considering the the middle age count. Uh, when I get this dome up, I'll put up a uh, uh, a university, and then I'll uh, train. Uh, what do I? Uh, which, which uh, special specialty do I want here? Geologists for uh, Excalibur for the breakthrough. Yeah, and uh, three of any type of colonist for an unknown X marks the spot. I'm going to actually send that one. And, uh, where's, oh, I need the transport. Uh, where's the transport? Uh, you can come over here and turn off automatic mode. Where is it? Oh, it's coming. Okay, good. Okay, so that will get here. I'll send the expedition, and then we'll find out what happens. I'll also recall the rocket from Earth. Uh, that rover is not going to get here in time for the takeoff, is it? Seven, six... Five... Four. Three. Yeah, it's not going to make it in time. Um. Oh! By stopping it, I, it got close enough. Okay. Now, we'll, uh... We'll go over here. Cargo rocket. Um, I'm just going to launch it empty. Um, okay, so now we'll have a rocket coming back. Okay. 
Expedition has landed. Uh, it, uh, da, 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 da. Press the button. Ooh. Spires. Okay, which ones? Four spire prefabs. Okay. Well, only two sols on the uh, thing there, so... You know what? I can actually start that thing back up again. Uh, right. Fuel explosion. Okay, fine. Yeah. That's why you don't store your fuel with other stuff, right? Okay. Uh, so, what spires did we get? Uh, no. Spires. Two arcologies! Ooh! Hanging garden. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's... That's... Oh, man! That's, um... Oh! And a network node. Okay. Oh, ah. Hanging Gardens is brilliant. Uh, that solves our uh, our uh, birth rate problem. Uh, okay, so let's uh, chuck the Hanging Gardens right in there. Uh, <laughs> uh, that solves our service uh, comfort issue uh, completely. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's going to be our uh, breeding dome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it uses a lot of water. It uses water. But it has a service comfort of 100. So, uh, if we uh, look here, the average comfort of the dome should start going up and that i think yeah see average comforts up to 70 right uh so uh, yeah see you can just watch it climbing right uh and by doing that uh i think i think this just makes the uh, game winnable with enough uh effort uh, by getting that in there. Uh, yeah, see, it's climbing. Uh, so we're, so uh, with it being more comfortable, the... Uh, um, then more... Um, uh, more uh, uh, children will be born, right? Uh, so... Yeah, we're up to 75. So if we can get that way up, uh, like that, uh, even upwards of 80, possibly, uh, if it gets that high, uh, then uh, we'll have a much, much larger uh, uh, throughput, right? And then we can take the hit, for sure, of uh, working out dome. Okay, that, uh, that solves my, uh, my worries um yeah because it's it's still climbing right uh yeah hanging a hanging garden is uh, absolutely uh, brilliant now let me just check here uh yeah see we didn't have the ability to build that so yeah, I, I wasn't missing something. So uh, that's what I wanted to check. Now, the arcologies are useful for living space. Uh, maybe in uh, uh, remote domes where you want to use a smaller dome or something like that. But, uh, well, the electrostatic dust storm is just about done. So uh, I'll land the rocket here uh, after the... Uh, the dust storm 
uh, and uh, maybe I'll run it out until the rocket from Earth arrives. And then, uh, then from, from there, I think I'll probably put the cut. But uh, I'm pretty sure, unless I make a major error at some point in the next uh, you know, little while, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the population problem is solved, I'm pretty sure. So I have to make sure I don't run out of water and that I don't run out of uh, O2 or food, right? Um, now, how's this doing? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to uh, implement some uh, agriculture somewhere or something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're, we're still hovering with a, a nice number of, uh, of children. Um, what I... Oh, I should... Uh, I should put... Uh, nurseries and playgrounds and schools and everything over here and then uh, yeah that's what I should do anyway um, okay we're uh, we're okay there we're okay there uh, yeah okay so population oh yeah we got seven children now um, no, I'm looking for the, no, nursery. Okay, yeah, we got room for, okay. Dome bioscaping. We have improved comfort now for our uh, basic micro and barrel domes. But that doesn't help our medium domes. Um, okay, well, that, uh, we can land that. And uh, our rocket from Earth is just about here as well. So I'll be able to land that. Uh, okay. And then I think I'll build the dome. And then next time, I'll start working out how to handle the uh, population. Okay, you can land there. Aha! Uh -huh. Buildings destroyed. Rebuild. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with the renegades as well. Uh, <laughs> obviously. Because uh, we have 18 renegades, and that's uh, obviously an issue. Uh, what's this need? 10 polymers, 40 concrete. Okay. Uh, okay, you have uh, landed. Okay. Uh, no exports. You... Uh, you can export, though, and, uh, okay, so that should get, uh, rebuilt, uh, relatively quickly. Uh, at least you can rebuild the thing that you built from a, uh, a prefab without having the, uh, tech for building it, right? Uh, but it'll take a while. Uh, meanwhile, we've got uh, a slight increase in population, younger population coming up. So, yeah. Uh, so, I think uh, the next step will be to get a handle on the renegades at some point. Uh, and that, I don't think, will be a terribly big problem. Um uh, our uh, working population has been increasing, so we got eight children now. Yeah, uh, so I'll deal with that next time around. I'll deal with the uh, population boom that we're going to be having, and uh, that's going to require. Uh, you know, I think I'll move the food production over here, and uh, maybe the science production. Because this doesn't have a, uh... yeah, we don't have a uh, boost on that. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, enough dithering. The, I'm putting the cut in here, and uh, I guess that means uh, yeah, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. 
and uh, see you back next time.